All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of IMO. Just two days ago, I made an IMO reacting to the appointment of Pellegrini as the new West Ham manager. And now there's another new manager in town as Arsenal Football Club have confirmed what we believe to be true for a few days, that Unai Emery is taking over Arsenal as the new manager. This is big news. Let's talk about it. <laughs> So, Unai Emery is the new main man at Arsenal Football Club. What does this mean? How is he going to do? What sort of job do we think he's going to do? What do the Arsenal fans think of it? These are all questions I'm going to answer. But before we talk about Emery, let's talk about the other potential managers that could have replaced Wenger. There was lots of names thrown about, but I've drawn up a list of five people that I believed were rumoured to have a chance of taking over the job. First of all is Arteta. I mean, last sort of week or so, it's been said that almost certainly Arteta was getting the job. Ex-Arsenal player, of course. Ex-Arsenal coach, along with Wenger in the Wenger years, then moved to Man City with Pep Guardiola and helped them win the title as assistant manager. He was rumoured to be getting the Arsenal job for a while. And he, along with another couple of Arsenal old boys, Thierry Henry and Patrick Vieira, were also thrown in the shortlist. We know the club spoke to all three of them. And obviously Vieira and Henry as part of the Invincibles team and just absolute club legends, I think would have been received really well, despite Henry's relative lack of managerial experience. He's only ever been the assistant coach at Belgium. And Vieira still has only managed in not top flight teams, really. You know, New York City, FC and Man City Reserves. These are the only teams he's managed. But you can get away with having less experience if you're a club legend. I mean, we saw Pep come and do it at Barcelona. We saw Zidane do it at Real Madrid and they've gone on to do unbelievable things. Ultimately, I think it would have been a risky job for any of those three to take. It would have been their first big managerial job and they're always going to have an option of going to Arsenal at some point in their career, in my opinion, because of the, the relationship they've got with the club. It's risky going in as your first job, even though other managers have made it work. Steven Gerrard, for example, is a Liverpool legend, has chosen to go to Rangers as opposed to waiting for the Liverpool gig. If they get it wrong, it's kind of like the dream job gone and ruined. I think it's quite good for them to carry on getting experience. So even though they might have been popular with the fans and they may have done well, I think it's probably quite a good thing that none of them got the job, particularly with Arteta, because Arteta was very involved both as a player and as a coaching staff in the Wenger era. And I think they need a fresh start now to move back to, I say back to the glory days, but to kind of reinvent the club in many ways. So I think personally, it's probably quite good for Arsenal and for the managers, actually, that none of those three got the job. Luis Enrique was also a name suggested, ex-Barcelona, of course. He apparently was too highly priced, didn't have the money to pay him what he wanted. I think he would have done well. I think Luis Enrique would have been a good appointment, high profile, but it wasn't to be. And then Allegri at Juventus was rumoured a lot. Um, I don't know why he'd have done that job personally. I don't know why he'd have done it. He's won everything at Juve, like league-wise, domestic-wise. He's come very close in the Champions League. It's pretty much the only thing that's eluded him. It would be a big step down to move to a club that's not in the Champions League next season. They'd have to pay him a lot of money to convince him, and it would be a weird career move, in my opinion, for Allegri. So how much truth there was to that in the first place, I don't know. But he's not coming. We know it is Unai Emery. Let's talk about Emery. Most famous, perhaps, for his time at Sevilla, where he won three Europa Leagues in a row. That's crazy. Immediately, you draw a comparison with Wenger, who never won a European competition for Arsenal. This guy won three in a row. More recently, of course, he's managed PSG. Some people would say his time there wasn't that successful because he didn't help them kick on, even with Neymar, to do better in the Champions League. I'd say he was a little bit unlucky because Neymar, for example, got injured at a key part of the season. They were missing him in their second leg, which they needed to have a big result in against Real Madrid to go through. Emery didn't win the league in his first season at PSG, which is a bit of a wake-up call because it's considered that PSG, with their embarrassment of riches, should be winning that league every year. But it was Monaco who won it in his first season. They had the likes of Mbappe, Lamar, Bakayoko, Sidibe, Mendy. They had a ridiculous team, most of which has been dismantled now. But he bounced back from it and with the addition of Neymar, went and absolutely romped the league this season in league. Uh, now you can't take too much from that in terms of throwing plaudits at Emery because it, it, it's kind of just par to win the league in league with PSG. You've got to be doing it. Kind of like Brendan Rodgers is at Celtic at the moment. You don't get too much credit for it. It's more telling if you don't win the league, which Emery was able to do in his second season. Now DT of Arsenal Fan TV tweeted something out recently which compared Wenger when he got the job at Arsenal to Emery when he got the job. They're very similar ages. Wenger was 46 years old when he got the job at Arsenal. He'd been managing for 12 years and Emery's also 46 years old. He's been managing for 13. Wenger had managed three clubs when he took over. Emery's managed six. But here's where it differs. When he joined Arsenal, Wenger had won four domestic trophies and no uh, European trophies. Emery has won five domestic trophies, more than Wenger had, and three European trophies. So in terms of accolades, he's coming into the job a lot more, I wouldn't necessarily say qualified, but with a bigger packed out CV than what Wenger took over with. Some Arsenal fans seem to be underwhelmed with the appointment though. 
I'm not sure why this is, to be honest. It doesn't really compute with me. I think it's a really good appointment. I don't know if it was because they didn't really see it coming because everyone had been talking about Arteta and they started to get used to that idea. But for me, Emery is as solid an appointment as you're going to get. This guy's been managing the Champions League. He's won many European trophies. What more do you think Arsenal can attract, to be honest? They're not going to be able to attract, right now at least, because it's a rebuild job, the upper echelon of manager, the established, you know, Pep Guardiola's, Jose Mourinho's. Allegri's. They're not capable of attracting those names, in my opinion. They even needed to go with a kind of young, unproven manager who was part of the philosophy, who would just buy into the new layout of the football club. They're changing the structure to be more of a European structure with, you know, directors of football and other people managing parts of it that previously Wenger had been completely all over. Someone like Arteta would have come in and been a bit of a yes man, probably, and just done what they said. I think, again, it's a good, it's a good thing they didn't get someone like that. They need someone to come in and challenge the status quo. I think they've got pretty much as qualified a manager as they could have got in Unai Emery. He's got a few black marks against him. He doesn't speak the language right now. Okay, we've seen plenty of managers come in and not speak the language and learn it and fit in. Uh, Pochettino, when he came to Southampton before Spurs, didn't speak the language. He's done pretty well. Not won a lot of things, of course, but he's done pretty well. And I'm pretty sure most Arsenal fans, despite the fact that he manages their rivals, would take a manager coming in and doing similar to what Pochettino has done at Spurs, established them as a second, third, fourth place team regularly in the Champions League. Because let's be honest, someone's not going to come in and turn Arsenal into a title winning team anytime soon. It's going to take years. The challenge for Emery is to get them back into that Champions League, the thing that Wenger was so good at throughout his tenure, apart from the last few seasons. So yeah, Emery doesn't speak the language right now, but he can pick it up. He's a clever guy. And the other thing slightly going against Emery is that um, in the 15 matches he's had against Pep Guardiola and Jose Mourinho, you know, these are managers he's going to want to try and pick up points against in the league as managers of Man City and Man United. He's never won a game. Okay, he's never beaten them in previous encounters. That's something he's going to need to overcome if he's going to help Arsenal push up the league. Okay, theoretically, he could not beat them and still get enough points to get in the top four. But surely Arsenal fans want to be in that conversation again where they can beat clubs like that. But these sort of stats, you know, he's managed different teams in the past. I don't buy too much into him. I look more about the character of the manager, his qualities, his past experience over whole seasons, not against particular managers. And I think Emery is a good catch. One thing that's really interesting to know about Emery, which I didn't really know about him that much, I'll be honest, and... And it was actually brought to my attention by a friend of mine, Ellie Mengum, who shared this article written by another friend of mine, Sid Lowe. Now, Sid Lowe is an absolute proven Spanish football expert, okay? He's a very, very respected journalist. He's the guy that got me onto Real Oviedo, buying the shares in the club years ago. Shout out to Sid Lowe. He wrote this article about Emery 10 years ago, back in 2008, when he was manager of Almeria. The article was written after he just masterminded a victory for Almeria versus Real Madrid, their first in their history. It was a big deal at the time. But what's important is a little paragraph about his approach approach as a manager and what he asked the players to do. Let me read it to you. Emery, admits one player, is a colossal pasado, meaning pain in the bottom. Um, the players hate him. Training sessions are long and unbelievably boring. Doesn't sound good so far. Let's read on. Team talks go on forever. He makes you watch videos for hours with endless replays of corners and free kicks, even goal kicks. It's so dull I've seen people fall asleep. Right, this is what Arsenal players got to look forward to. He tells you the same things every week, like you're a little kid, ramming home his point. Like the one about an open hand, only delivering a slap, but a fist with everyone tightly packed together, being capable of doing real damage. He goes on forever. You get bored stiff. You think it's all nonsense, but it works. It's so relentless that in the end, every single player knows exactly what he wants. So it didn't start off good, did it? It sounded like players are not going to enjoy playing for Emery, and maybe they're not, but maybe they don't need to. Is the job of a manager to make the playing for a football club enjoyable for the player? No. The job of a manager is to get results, and I think Emery is going to do that at Arsenal. As long as you're realistic about the expectations of what those results should be. For me, if he comes in and improves on what Wenger's done, which means finishing higher than sixth, that's a success. And whether he does it in his first season, I don't know. But I think if they give him a few years, Emery will do that at Arsenal. Of course, he needs to be armed with a transfer budget. He needs to rebuild the squad, the sort of squad he wants. He's a different manager to Arsene Wenger. He might not like a lot of the players he's inherited. But if the board trusts him, and that is always a question with Arsenal, Stan Conker, etc., are they going to give the money to spend? But if they do, as they've started to do with the likes of Aubameyang and Lacazette, I think Emery could build a squad that could get Arsenal back to where they used to be. Now, of course, it could go wrong. The nature of any manager replacing a club legend like Arsene Wenger, similar to how Moyes took over at Man United after Ferguson, it's a tough act to follow. But I'd argue this is quite different to the Fergie situation because when Fergie left Man United, he was leaving what was actually a, a squad that was overperforming. They won the league, but they weren't actually that good. So he was a great manager that he was able to do that. Moyes then came in with the same squad and underperformed. 
That is a tough act to follow because Fergie never really dropped off. He was always solid. Wenger, whilst loved by the Arsenal fans generally, has been getting worse and worse over the last few seasons. So in my opinion, all Emery has to come in and do is a little bit better than Wenger to show signs of, of improvement. He hasn't got to come in and win the league. He hasn't really necessarily got to finish top four next season, in my opinion, to be a success. I'm sure the board are saying something different, get us back in the Champions League. Whether he can do that in one season though, I'm not sure. There's actually quite a big repair job to do at Arsenal. But I think they could do a lot worse than giving Emery two, maybe three seasons to see how it goes. Of course, if you take someone on a real collapse, and they're struggling in the bottom half of the table and you feel like they've had enough time to, to get settled under his new kind of management, maybe you have to move him on. You can't afford Arsenal to keep you know, falling and falling. But I don't think over a season or two, he'll do any worse than what Wenger did. I think he'll improve them. And I don't know for sure how things were under Wenger. I don't know if he went to the tactical lengths that it seems like Emery does. But I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing for the Arsenal players. And the thing is, this is what a manager's job is. This is the way he obviously runs a football club. If he comes in and puts the players through this kind of tactical analysis to the lengths that bore some people and they don't respond well, he won't change his ways. He'll just change his players. He'll get rid of them and he'll bring in the sort of players that are going to react to what he does. So all in all, obviously we need to see what Emery does in the transfer window. Who's he going to bring in? How's he going to rebuild this squad? But I don't think it's a bad appointment at all. I think it's as good as Arsenal could have expected based on where they are right now as a football club. And I think if he settles into English football, he can get them nearer the Champions League spots, maybe back in there again if he, if he has a good window. But at the end of the day, I could be wrong. He could come in and do terribly. I'm just telling you what I think. And I just don't think there's another manager out there they could have got that I'd feel more confident about for Arsenal. Let me know what you think in the comments below, though. I know a lot of you have got a different opinion on Emery because it feels a little bit like he's come off the back of a failure at PSG because they're not keeping him on. But there is some debate as to whether he was sacked or not. He's actually said that he decided to leave PSG. Maybe he didn't feel comfortable there. I don't know. Ultimately, he won seven trophies in two seasons. Yes, he didn't progress past the last 16 in the Champions League, which ultimately was his, probably his main goal at PSG. But he won the Liga title this season. He won the Coupe de France twice. He won the Coupe de la Ligue twice and the Trophy des Champions twice. I'm thinking of the pronunciation, by the way. You like it? But seven trophies in two seasons. Can you really call that a failure? This guy has a track record for winning things. Despite Emery not being able to defeat a Mourinho team yet, Mourinho can quite simply not call Emery an expert in failure because this guy wins stuff. Whether he wins stuff for Arsenal remains to be seen, but I think he's got as good a chance as any. If you haven't seen my IMO on the appointment of Pellegrini's West Ham manager, check it out by clicking the I button now. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Make sure you've got the notification bell turned on to see all my videos. Lots of World Cup stuff coming very, very soon. I'm also going to do a video about the Wheel of Fortune very soon as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go changing.